our program for this session is going to be an introduction to the color sensor to see how it can detect colors, and also to introduce the concept of a switch. We're going to start with a loop. We want this to execute an infinity number of times. And we're going to begin, because it's not seeing any particular color that we're looking for, we'll begin by displaying a message on the screen to the effect that no color is showing. And we'll center it up. And that's what'll just that's what'll show on the start. And if it doesn't see one of the colors that we'd like for it to show. The switch is new. Instead of doing a wait where we will just hang and the robot does nothing else until this condition is satisfied, so we're gonna bring in a switch. What the switch does. is it checks the status of an input sensor as the microprocessor is running through the instructions. When that microprocessor hits that instruction, what is the status of the input sensor at that moment? So we're going to set this up for the color sensor to compare to a specific color. And let's look for blue. The default is to look for red. We're going to turn that off. It is possible to set this to look up, look for multiple colors. We only want to look for blue. If it sees blue, it'll do this portion. If it does not see blue, we could set it up for this. But what I'm going to ask is that you leave one branch blank for clarity in your program so you can so that anybody else is trying to help you, the teacher can see what your program does. If you program both branches, you'll have hidden code that doesn't show without checking on it. And with what you're going to submit, you need to be able to see the whole thing in one shot. So we're going to look for blue. If we do see it, we want it to execute the code in the checkmark branch. If we do see it, we are going to display the word blue on the screen. And with this check mark on here, it would erase the code that says no color. We erase that text. And let's center this on the screen a little bit. And then, in addition to showing that, we also want to have a sound play. So we can drop this sound right here. We can play a sound file. And there are a whole bunch of color words, and it can blue, say the blue, word blue. Blue, 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 blue. And we can adjust the volume level, so maybe it's not quite as disruptive in class. And that's it. Now, if it doesn't see blue, it does nothing. And that is legitimate. It is okay. If it doesn't see blue, it comes to the end here, comes back around, and displays again no color and checks momentarily to see what's happening with the color switch. And if it does see blue, then it will show that. Now we've got one other thing to remember also. Showing word and playing a sound is only going to take a split second for that to happen. In order to be able to see everything on screen a little bit longer, we would be wise to put in a time delay. And maybe not a full second, but we could do a half of a second here. And adding the time delay now will let us be able to appreciate what's taking place. We'll go ahead and download this to the robot and see how it behaves.